This is a patient, basically a 54-year-old male, uh, ischemic heart disease, triple vessel disease, and uh, his PTCA2 LED and OM was done three months back. Admitted with chest pain since three days, NOHA class two symptoms three days, top eye positive, and uh, it was like a non-STEMI. And today, echo done showed a moderately hypokinetic mid and basal posterior wall, a kinetic inferomedial wall with good LV function. Uh, this is a basically a first angio, where you can see a hostel uh, LED and the circ lesion which were borderline, and the mid LED lesion was also a borderline. So that time. We did a FFR uh, to the LED. Our uh, FFR in LED was positive. So first we stented a LED, mid LED, and uh, again FFR to the proximal LED was done, which was 0.89, so austral LED, and the austral circumflex FFR also was negative. Uh, so only OM and the LED was treated that time. Austral LED, austral left circumflex, both FFR negative, so he was put on a medical treatment. And the patient came back after three months with a story of angina. Actually, after two months, he stopped his all antiplatelets and statins. And this was the picture when patient came to us. That circumflex lesion progressed, it was almost 90-95%. LED lesion was the same. Uh, Mid LED stent was okay, OM stent was okay. And uh, we then decided that the patient will need a RSA, a PTCA to left circumflex ostium. But again, the LED lesion last time also the FFR was negative. So uh, we did a FFR to LED. That was uh, 0.83. So we decided that we will do a, a ostial stenting for the left circumflex. So we dilated the lesion. Stent was taken, left circumflex, it was 3 by 18. Stent was deployed. And after uh, stenting left circumflex at osteal, I think the LED lesion started looking significant. So again, we did a FFR for the LED and that came 0.77. So in view of this, we said that they will have to stent from left main to LED. So it was 3.523. Left main to LED was stented. And post uh, pot was done with a Foro balloon in the proximal left main and then the final kissing was done. And basically, a patient, when first he came to us, it was a, again, osteal LED, circ lesion, mid uh, LED, and the OM significant. That time, uh, LED, FFR positive, so only mid LED was stented, proximal FFR was negative, circ FFR was also negative. And in three months, came back with an osteal lesion where we stented circumplex, but again, the LED after stenting osteal LED, uh, Austral circumplex came positive and then we landed with a left main to LED and that's how I think the FFR played an important role in changing the, our strategy of treating this patient of a bifurcation. So many times I think the side uh, branch bifurcations, the FFR was used as a bailout procedure and the uh, final uh, left main to LED and left circumplex stenting, that's what we did in this patient. Thank you.